What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John. I think everybody here today. Today, especially in the lessons, we're continuing our Pokemon Black 2 Randomizer as luck. I keep calling it the wrong game because Pokemon Black is stuck in my head. But that's okay. We're going to do a quick team recap because a couple things have actually changed on the team for once, but not the Pokemon themselves. But we have... Everybody at level 43 except for Zoroark because Zoroark is literally never used. And of course, it'd be the one time that we actually have to use Zoroark. It's the one time that we don't train him up. So we got Sog with Leftovers, Curse, Hex, Shadow Punch, and Astonish. We got Beagers with Workup, Heal, Order, Extra Century, and Silverwind. And then we got Jonas with Cut, Chatter, Fly, and Mega Horn. Now, Chatter replaced Clifford Dance because we literally never used Clifford Dance because we're a physical attacking mon at this point we never really learned any special moves that were good we had fly already which was kind of unfortunate because i would have kept quiver dance if i knew we would have gotten chatter and like but we never got bug buzz or anything else so it's kind of what we got stuck with and it's what we're gonna have to deal with we got michael with aqua tail stomp brine and surf with a cn sense we have chillin with the choice specs with searing shot blast burn thunder and then sear or uh Thunder and Extra Sensory. Then we got the Zoroark, Extra Sensory, Fury Attack, Present, and Faint Attack. I think our biggest reason why I don't we don't use Zoroark is because Zoroark literally, I guess, has no not no purpose. That's not it has a purpose. You know, I could have actually used that against the Jellison now that I'm thinking about it last episode, because that was a scary moment. But Eliza is actually gonna be level. Or not Eliza. Skyla is going to be level 45. And so with Eliza being level 45, we do have to be careful and watch out. Because that will be something to kind of acknowledge. Is that she will be tough and difficult. And I know it. And I'm ready to take on the tough tasks. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, so you do have to... Oh, wait, nope. No, I didn't get there soon enough. Oh, wait, I did pass him. Dang it! He turned. I was hoping to get, oh, get like, out of this gym really quickly. But I feel like all of her, like, subjects are going to be the same level that we are. Level 43-ish. Vanilla Ox. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, actually, that's fine. Oh, actually, she's going to be the first gym that has forcefully evolved months. Forcefully evolved months. Forcefully evolved months. That she just got like a thousand times scarier in two seconds. Two seconds. And because I just realized, yeah, I think level 40 was my forcefully evolved curve. Um, because that was where the sixth of the gym was. What are you using? What did you just use? I mean, it didn't kill us, but that seemed like it was a very scary, powerful move. Okay, Vanillax did die. I was going to say, having choice specs on Chillin has probably been one of the better decisions that we've made. Not going to lie about that one. Because if we didn't have choice specs on Chillin, I don't necessarily know where we would be going from here. The beauty of this gym, though, is you literally can easily avoid most of the trainers. If you're careful enough. And I know I'll be careful enough to avoid, like, most of them here. Ah, That's okay. No! Dang it, I knew that was gonna be- I was about to be kicked to the beginning. But hey, we got it. We got where we needed to go. That's good. And then take the head start. Go up here. This gym is so much easier than the Pokemon Black version of this gym. Oh. Don't listen to John. John was wrong. No! Oopsies, oopsies, that was bad. Well, I, I knew that was gonna happen though, sadly. It was kind of it was it was meaning to happen. Or er, not meaning, it was bound to happen. Sincino Which I don't really care about Sincino. Sog can Sog actually cannot handle Sincino because that is a normal type. Um we go into Michael then. 
If Saw can't handle it, Michael can. Charm. Oh, great. <laughs> You're a physical attacker. I get, we got Surf, though. Flame Charge. Okay, that's a random move for you to have, but I'm down for you to use that over anything else. If that's, if that's the best thing that it can think of using against me, I'm down. As I know, it's faster. It's going to use Charm again. Okay. So, it basically negated any physical attack. So... I will take that, though, as Simcino is gone, down for the count, and we've got a Zeb Striker. Great. Um, What do I do to handle Zeb Striker? I guess I go into chillin' and hope that Zeb Striker doesn't have, like, a big, big, scary, big, scary moves. Because if it does, I know Zeb is fast, so if it does have a big, scary move, then I'm in trouble, but Discharge. Okay, that's actually a pretty scary move, but it's not physical, so it shouldn't do that much. As we are going to go ahead, get out of here with a victory as Chillin is going to give us the W. Fisher, Kate. And we're going to go ahead and use our Hyper Potion that we got. We have 27 of them, so we definitely have enough. It's weird, like, not having bulky, like, bulky mons. It's super weird. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. You're a tough trainer who can face the wind and not get blown off your feet. I'm kind of excited for this battle. Why don't you and I have some fun? Oh, you know we're gonna have some fun, Skyla. We got this. This is going to be a good battle. I already, I can already tell because she's going to be forcefully evolved. She's got three mons. Her first mon is going to be an Embor. Wait, don't we have Michael leading? No, we have Sog leading. Let's go ahead and get Michael. Because, well, I'm glad we trained a Pokemon to level 43. Because her other two Pokemon are going to be 42, I guess. And her ace is going to be 45. Which, I mean, I'm down for. Magma Storm. Great. Okay, that's fine. I'll take that. That's a trapping move, but we'll live with it. Wow, actually, we might not because that did way more damage than I was anticipating. I'm going to go ahead and Aqua Tail and hope that kills the Embor. But Embor's a thick good boy. Okay, we got it down. Good. Okay, Embor is out of the way. Carrot. Not good. This is a code red. Um. Because Michael is too much of a sweeper to handle that. We know Beegers. Come on. Sog is up to you. Just don't be the level 40. Don't be the level 45 and we're fine. Don't be the level 45 and I'm okay. Don't be the level 45. It's the ace. And the ace is 44, which is weird because it's supposed to be 40. Five, but okay. Oh no, this is not good. A critting Caracosta. That's the title of this episode. If it gets a crap. But it's literally this is what happened last time. It's going for ancient powers. But it's funny because it's not getting crits, even though it's got plus two in that regard. Which I mean, I'm okay with. Not gonna lie, like. Oh, it had a berry. Great. <gasps> oh, Sog. You're going to die. Bye, Sog. Ah, the Critty Caracosta. That's, that, there we go. Told you that was going to be the title of the episode. Bye, our third death of the Nuzlocke. I don't know what to go into. It's got a high, it's Hydro Cannon. So, I guess we can go into Beegers and be safe for now. Um, we aren't faster, but I can pull off a workup. Oh, we are faster. Okay. So, I can work up, get a, a plus one in special attack, and then hope that extra sensory will be enough. But I don't think it will be. Oh, no, it was. Okay. Great. We'll take it. Uh, 
Oh no! If Tyranitar hits Michael with a big move, we're dead. If Tyranitar hits Michael with a big move, we could be dead. Let's hope not. I ha I don't think healing's the best option here. I honestly don't think healing's the best option. I do think Aqua Tailing is the best option. Because it could hit me with whatever move it wants to. If it doesn't die. Oh no. Foul play. That... No! Today was a... S Why? I literally end off my recording session for the week at this note? I mean, I would... My week's recording session is going to end on this note, by the way. Um... I need a summary more so. 92, 90, 100, and 100. I need to hope that Chillin's faster than a Tyranitar. This is such a scary thing to think about. Oh, fuck. No! I don't think a Specs Chillin is going to get me out of this. We're going to lose another Mon. Because I'm specs into that now. We are ending this episode off on a so much a sour note, bruh. Zoroark's gotta die. Zoroark or Jonas has to die. And Jonas is more useful. Oh my god. I've been so attached to these members. I've literally had these members basically the entire playthrough. And now they're gone. And I know you can't see the emotion on my face. Let me zoom in because, oh my God, you deserve it. Um, but... These have literally been family members on the team the entire episode. Like, you know, like, I know Beegers knows this because Beegers and I talk all the time about this kind of stuff in general. This is such a sad moment. I mean, I'm not even lying when I say that this is a very sad. Like, this is a super ridiculously sad moment because, like, this has legit been my team the entire... Like, I've had two deaths up to this point, and now we've doubled it in this episode, and I can't lose Chillin. Oh, my God. This hurts. This really hurts. Zoroark is the least important member on the team, and if I have to sack somebody off, it'd be Zoroark. Uh, oh, I didn't use Zoroark a lot, but... I mean, at least it did nothing. Oh my god! Zoroark was even more useless! <laughs> How? How? Uh... Zoroark had to find a way to be more useless. 
You know, I was hoping to get a little chip damage. I know I used present, and that's my bad for using present, but, like... Like, ugh, who looks... I mean, I guess I could soft-boiled. I kind of stall him out. I don't want to stall him out, but hey, that's what I have to do. Bite, okay. Oh my god, Bite does about the same amount of damage anyway. God, that did nothing. This is a massacre if I've ever seen one. I mean, we haven't seen a rock type move yet. This is so bad. We lit we haven't seen a rock type move yet. Jonas won't get us out of here. I know that, but Jonas will actually be able to hit it with a super effective move. Foul play won't do a lot to Jonas. Foul play won't do a lot to Jonas. That was another crit. Oh my god. Oh. My. So a crit plus Sandstorm is 110. Sandstorm did 7. So it was 103. 103. I'm faster. My thing is I'm going to have to rely on this roll anyway now. That crit put me into a position where I have to rely on the roll no matter what. God damn it. It literally did. Because if I heal, foul play, and sandstorm is to a kale anyway. Because that foul play did 53. So it's, it does 60 damage to me. That roll, if it gets that roll every time, it's 60 damage anyway. So I have to either sack off a mon, which we don't necessarily have to do because we know, well, actually, is Beegers slower than Jonas? I don't want to sack off Beegers. That's not, Beegers is slower than Jonas. With Beegers being two points slower than Jonas, I don't know if Beegers is going to be faster. I But I also know Beegers gets one shot. Anyways. The sad inevitability of all this is I have to rely on Megahorn hitting. Oh, thank God. Jonas is a lifesaver today. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Skyla, you gave me a run for my money. And we're going to have to reassemble the entire team thanks to her. Oh, my God. My heart is literally aching right now. I just lost half of my team. In one battle. Quash, are you getting... You, you kill three mons, give me a useless move. I appreciate it. It's my favorite. I'm glad you gave me a completely useless move. Oh, yeah. Okay, so they did do that. They gave you thing that you can do both orders. Oh, my God. Oh, it's further down. Hold on. I believe. Great. Antidote. I like that. Thank you. What am I supposed to do?
Assist? Great. I would have loved being assisted in the last battle. Um... I'm at, oh my god, I literally have every freaking thing except for chillins. This is aggravating. Beyond belief. Do I just have to talk to them somewhere that I just didn't pay attention? I guess we get to pick our, pick our mons that are going. Before I do that, though. We're going to say our last goodbyes to Big Sog. Michael. And Zorowark, the thing that was never actually named. That's such, it was such a sad ending to this recording session. I'm not going to lie. Losing three mons in a single episode is hard enough. But, like, at an end of a recording session, I feel like it's just that much more depressing. Because you're, like, going into it. And you're like, okay, last episode, let's go. And then, like, the sad inevitabilities happen. Okay, so what do we even have team-wise? One, Milotic has no moves. You've got no water-type moves at all. Dude, my box is horrendous um let's see well it's not i shouldn't say horrendous but we're gonna add lucario and milotic which give me some good options lucario milotic and i actually don't think i have a sunstone yet or else i would definitely be adding sephora um, otherwise, the wojan has got absolutely no moves. And Articuno is just Articuno. I don't know. I think we're actually going to stick with the five. I like Walrein as a Mon right now, but we had Milotic as an option. Otherwise, Walrein would have been on the team for sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save today's episode, figure out where we're supposed to go, and we'll end it off on this kind of sad note. But we'll see you guys in the next episode on next Thursday. Love you all, and hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.